I'm interrupting my slightly patchy Vlogmas experience to bring a couple of announcements. First of all, I am really excited to announce once again, I will be participating in the Wild 30 challenge from the Planners Gone Wild Facebook group. For those of you who didn't hear about the first Wild 30, it was a 30 day challenge. There were a few different ones, a few different kind of areas that it covered and you signed up and it was limited amount of people signing up. And at the time for the first one, it was suggested donation. Could be anything from nothing to 30 bucks to whatevs. And it was 30 days focused on a specific thing. And one of those was lettering and that's what I did. When you sign up, you're in a smaller group setting, you have 30 days to accomplish something. And it was really fun. It was a lot of fun. I had a blast. In honor of the new year, the admins in Planners Gone Wild have decided to bring it back for, you know, January. And there's going to be five, five groups. There's going to be a goal setting group run by Gen Do 4, Gen Plans. There's going to be a repeat of, well, at least it's going to be another bullet journaling group by Mari Mundo. And she had already done, she did the previous one as well. And then there's going to be a decluttering challenge, which will be done by Amanda Plan with Llama, Jeanette and Jeanette Ever After on Instagram, and then Amanda's Butler. And again, that, that one is repeat. The goal setting one with Gen Dubois is new, but the other two groups are repeats of the last one. And then I will be doing two this time around. There will be a beginner's llama lettering group and an intermediate llama lettering group. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain the logistics and what they are, give you all the details. Okay, we'll start with overall and this applies to all five, all five groups. There is a limited number of spots in each one because we want these to stay small groups. In the three that are not lettering, there are 350 spots each. In the two lettering groups, each group has 200 spots. And the reason being is that I like to get really active and engaged and like be able to like look at what people are doing. And the more people that there is, the harder it is for me to really give some like real feedback. So we're keeping it small in my groups. The second thing is that you can only sign up for one. So you have to pick one of the five. And my suggestion would be go in with the one you want and a backup because you may, the one you want may sell through. My groups last time sold, my group last time went fast. And then the other two, the other ones went also fast, like within the first day, I think maybe, I can't remember exactly. This time around for cost, it is not going to be a donation, like a, like you can choose what you want to pay this time. They're going to just standardize it. It will be $17, whichever group you pick, flat fee. I don't know if that includes ticketing fees. I probably should know that. The groups will be opening up for, for sale on Friday, December 16th at 12 p.m. Eastern time. 12 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, December 16th. You have to be in the Planners Gone Wild group on Facebook. If you're not there, it's Planners Gone Wild Uncensored on Facebook and I will link it down below. You need to be a member there because that's where the link for the, the ticketing is gonna go live. The actual 30 days starts on January 2nd, gives you time to be hungover after New Year's and then we'll run through that 30 days up to the 31st. So second through the 31st. And the 31st is my birthday, just a heads up. It's gonna be a long video, I'm sorry. As for the two groups, there's the beginner group and the intermediate group. The beginner group is gonna be very similar to what we did the first time around. We're gonna be focusing on fixing your, well, not fixing, but improving your own handwriting, talking about how to take your own handwriting and turn it into some pretty fun, but still not difficult fonts touching on bubble lettering and doing some beginning work on cursive, polygraphy and things like that. And we also talked about spacing and layout and supplies and there was a bunch of stuff. For the intermediate group, we're going to be covering, going deeper into bubble lettering because that is a more difficult skill to learn, more deeper into bubble lettering. We're gonna look a little harder at cursive. We're gonna work on some, some starting brush lettering. We're also gonna be dabbling in different kind of, I call it a buffet in my live stream about this in Planners Gone Wild, like different kind of arenas lettering can be done in like chalk and paint pen and paint and etc. I'm gonna give you an opportunity to try some slightly more advanced lettering ideas and, and applications so that you can decide if there's one that really like works for you that you wanna really go deep into because 
any of those can get really complicated really fast. But if you start by like kind of dipping your toes into it, it could be really awesome. I also decided that I'm leaving some of the intermediate group kind of open for discussion as we get into it and we see what the people in there would like to be working on. We can kind of direct it into that direction, direct it into that direction. I'm so good. The things both groups will have in common. So there will be live streaming many days a week. There will be daily challenges like practice challenges and there will be assignments, several of them over the course of each week. We will be working on projects. You pace it your own way. And even after the 30 days, you'll have a little bit of time to catch up if you need to. They will both also have what I call feedback frenzy days where I will put a post up, you put a picture of your work up, and I will do a live stream that day giving feedback on all of the stuff in that thread. And if you don't want feedback on the live stream, then you can ask for me to type it out, or you can ask for me to, sorry, my voice is going, or you can ask for me to leave you a private message with feedback. This is great for a couple of reasons. It gives me an opportunity to really take a look at what you're doing and give you some real tips for your personal situation but also the other people on the thread will also be leading their feedback and encouragement. So it turns into a really great thing. And it was probably one of my favorite things about the whole Wild 30. It's partly why we keep the group small. It's a little easier for me to manage that with a smaller group size. The last thing both groups will be doing, building like new friendly relationships. The Planners Gone Wild group is a big fucking group. It is massive. It's almost 30,000 people. Like, holy shit. Sometimes it's hard to feel noticed or to feel like you have people that know you in the bigger group. Doing the smaller group gives you an opportunity to make some new friends and it makes the bigger group feel less large, overwhelming, whatever. I get to get to know you a little better too and it's one of my favorite things about it. If you have done all of my videos previously from the season one of Llamas Love Lettering and you're comfortable with all of that, you may wanna do the intermediate because a lot of what we cover in Beginner is similar, like we cover a lot of the same ground in a different way. It's focused on your writing throughout. I don't do worksheets for these, I let you actually work with your own handwriting rather than copying mine. If you're comfortable with those techniques, then the intermediate class is probably for you. But you need to have a little confidence going into the intermediate class or you're gonna get overwhelmed. I'm just, I'm, this is a big heads up I'm giving you. You can't, you don't have to be the most confident letterer in the world, but you do need some confidence. If you have any questions, I did two live streams where I answered quite a bit of questions that are in Planners Gone Wild or you can leave them here in the comments and I will be in the comments answering questions. Not necessarily right after this video goes live, but I will be answering them. The third announcement I'm gonna make is in relation to this and that is finally, Llamas Love Lettering season two is coming. It's coming in January. It's gonna run concurrently. It's gonna start, it's weekly. So it's gonna start during the Wild 30. And it's going to start with review of what we did in the first couple of videos, the first group of videos to help people kinda get some like muscles working and because those videos were really long and really like janky. So I wanted to do something that's a little faster, like for people who can't sit and watch YouTube for that long. My website will be fixed, please. It's been on my list of things to deal with for so long now and that's gonna be coming. My website being fixed is supposed to happen at the same time as Wild 30 and the new season of Llamas Love Lettering too. So all of that's coming right as January begins. If you are interested in the Wild 30, join the Planners Gone Wild group if you're not already there. You can leave questions here, but like I said, signups are on December 16th, this Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. And you're gonna wanna be, if you wanna get into the lettering class, you're gonna wanna be there when it starts. I'm not saying this to like, like oh, I'm so awesome oh my things are gonna sell out but chances are they're gonna so do yourself the solid and get in there if you want that you know this was a long like ramble about how all these things i'm doing and i feel kind of like a jackass when i do these videos but it's the easiest way for me to get a lot of information across across like lacrosse <laughs> thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you next time